let's take a look at the oscillator of the Yamaha CS50. You have your choice of a square wave or a sawtooth wave output. This is the sawtooth wave. We also have the square wave. And let's remember with the Yamaha CS50 that it has four oscillators in it and these four oscillators cycle. So there's a small computer inside the keyboard which is deciding which notes are played when and then directing those key events to an oscillator. And what it does is it cycles through. So if I do this, each time I just press that A down, I got one of the four oscillators. So it cycles through the oscillators and that's really cool. So when you're doing this, different oscillators are hitting different notes with each time you press down the keys which gives a real diversity of sound because each of those oscillators is just slightly different. So that's one of the great benefits of the oscillator section in the Yamaha CS50. Also, which is a very common thing that you find on mono synths, but a not as common thing that you find on polyphonic analog synths is the opportunity of having both a sawtooth and a square wave at the same time. So you can have a sawtooth wave, square wave, or both. So it has a pretty full sound even when you do nothing because, well, in this instance, I have maybe one oscillator that's just fractionally out of tune with the others and it, it as I play a chord or repeated chords, it changes notes, which adds a richness, a diversity, and a slight beating like you would find on a synthesizer that had more than one oscillator. And we don't have to stop there because we also have the opportunity to adjust the pulse width on the square, which is adjusting how wide the square wave is. So we can go from 50% up to 90%. So 50% square wave is the square wave we're used to hearing. Here's what we can do. all the way to a pulse wave. Which is pretty cool, and anywhere in between. So that is awesome. But as you're moving that pulse width slider up and down, you can hear how cool it sounds when you change the pulse width in real time. Yamaha has been nice enough to give us a pulse width modulation so we can do exactly that. Let's have a listen. The Yamaha CS50 has a dedicated oscillator in the oscillator section uh, which is designed to modulate the width of the pulse and that is pulse width modulation. And it has its own oscillator, its own low frequency oscillator that you can adjust the speed of. it will start from different points depending on where the pulse width is set to begin with. And of course you can adjust the speed. And 
Yes, its own little low frequency oscillator in the oscillator section goes fast enough that it goes into the audio range. So you can get some really distorted sounds just from your pulse width modulation. So obviously when you have the pulse width modulation all the way up and the speed all the way up, it's pretty distorted, but you can back off the modulation so you only hear part of it, which can give you a sort of light distortion, a saturated sound. In many ways, Yamaha has really given you a lot of ways to fatten up or thicken up or saturate the sound so that it might sound like you have more than one oscillator. And what we've just been doing, we only had the square wave on. Let's hear what happens when we turn the sawtooth on top of that. And you have a really full sound. We also have a noise generator which can also sort of thicken up and add a slight distortion to the sound. So there are a lot of possibilities. Here, let's listen to the noise generator alone. You can turn both waveforms off. And so you get nothing when you play, which is good because there's an audio input. So this would allow you to use the audio input without any oscillators happening. Pretty standard noise generator. But there are four of them. So when you press one note, it's one volume. But then as you add more notes, you get more noise generators. So you can get a pretty full windy sound. When we get into the filter, we'll see what we could really do with that kind of noise in a polyphonic synthesizer. Okay, so that is essentially the oscillator section of the Yamaha CS50.